The year is 2050 and I'm an 86-year-old woman. My 3D printed house opens the curtains and wakes me up when I'm in my lightest sleep phase. It prints a single pill containing all of my prescribed medicines for the day. My beds checked my vital signs and blood counts and recommended a few things to improve my well-being. My house is also generating electricity. When power is low, we top up from the national supply, which gets renewable energy from the global grid. It seems slightly ironic now that the poorest countries from my youth have been able to tap into their plentiful sunshine and boost their economies. That wheelchair's gone. The material scientists created a smart fabric that supports me. Soon they'll be regrowing limbs. Since my husband died and me being partially sighted, I'm using these sensors that track my position and guide me around, which allows me to live independently. I meet my stepdaughter in the holographic kitchen. She lives in New York, but we sit and chat together. I'm going to meet my granddaughter later. She has plenty of time now. She manages to do five days work in three, thanks to the productivity of new technology. So I summon a driverless car and ask it to find her. Like so many people her age, she's always reskilling. She works for lots of different companies. My grandchildren have grown up with access to all the world's knowledge. It does worry me though, their whole life is in the public domain. It was always a worry to us, the whole privacy and cyber security thing. But it's a threat we seem to have mastered with a mixture of technology and pragmatism. On the journey, I like to take in my news feed, all the important news and subjects I'm interested in. It's so much easier now all the countries of the world are democracies thanks to technology facilitating open information and citizen action. Now look at this. There's an international team of engineers working virtually to create an environmental infrastructure. There's so much diverse talent around now that everyone has access to the internet, affordable education and good quality remote healthcare. It's great that countries have got together to tackle all these problems. Ooh. The IET has launched a standard on interplanetary communications. Apparently, they teamed up with lots of institutions, governments and the early settlers on Mars. It says here it's the latest in a long line of IET standards, from the wiring regs including DC for the home, the standards for electric vehicle charging including aircraft, cyber security, safe hoverboard working practices, to the award-winning standards for artificial intelligence including ethics. Ooh, look, the Rolling Stones are doing their final farewell tour. Nah, I've heard that one before. I'll catch them next time. The park's 45 minutes away. Just long enough to catch up on Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. She's just amazing.